Monstri e Morta. Lightweight division bout. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 154 pounds, fighting out of Nassau, Bahamas, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5-2 player. And you see a guy in a striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at him with his hip up to that kick. Beautiful, straight counter. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And they separate. Switching stances here. Lee's cheek looks like it's caught. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. 
I mean, he's cut down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, that was. Yeah. <laughs> Good right here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Trying to establish that jab once again. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like, oh, nice job to prevent the takedown and scramble to his feet. And he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice body kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. And that one certainly found the target. Head kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Right hand upstairs. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Going orthodox now. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. That's a big strike right there. Body attack and it's blocked. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Pretty good right hand. Oh! And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Single collar tie now. Oh! Nice strike. Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter. Chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. How good is that right hand? All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch in the clinch. 
Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And they separate. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from this clinch position. Oh, big punch land. Lee's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. There it is, take a shot. Big power shot there. Oh, single collar tie here. Missed with that right hand. Look at that great work to the body for the clinch. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back and forth we go! And there comes the separation now. Lee gets hit with a kick. Punch there by Lee. Combinations here. Oh, shot the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of this position where he's kneeing. Sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now the guy's got arm bar. He's attacking it on him. He's going to attack arm bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Oh, that's gonna do it in a quick tap from there as yeah, he gets it done it. by the submission. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. Take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eagle Beings called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds, round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Bruce the Dragon! The celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission.
They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent